Hey everyone, welcome to the B-Stock Minute. My name is John Spean, and this is a quick look at Apple's latest release, the iPhone SE, and the impact it has had thus far on pricing in the mobile secondary market. The SE debuted back in April at a very affordable entry-level price of $399. Historically, we know the release of a new iPhone will have an almost immediate impact on secondary market pricing of Apple's legacy models. Most recently, in 2019, iPhone XS prices decreased about 30% over the two months following the iPhone 11 release in September. Given this data, we anticipated to see similar depreciation for the 8 and 8 Plus, which have since been discontinued by Apple. However, with 2020 being the outlier that it is and COVID severely constraining supply in the market, just the opposite has occurred. To date, Prices of iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are up between 25 and 40% post SE release. Since April, ASPs for previous generations have steadily increased month over month as demand for product continues to far outweigh the available supply on the market. So that's a quick glance at the iPhone SE. If you're interested in learning more, head on over to bstock.com mobile and reach out to us.